back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Have a blessed day doing what you love. We have a message from the Spirit Guides for you today. And this message was all about the beginning of a new cycle. The beginning of a new chapter of your life is here. It is upon us, right? There's going to be a lot of things that you maybe thought were delayed or never going to happen or you know, you might have gave up on, those things are going to come back around. The opportunities that are coming towards you are going to be life-changing opportunities that you are very, very um, equipped for. You're ready for, right? You have everything that you need in this chapter to be successful, and you are going to be successful. You have been putting in the work every day to heal, grow, evolve, and it is starting to pay off. Your spirit guides are very happy for you. They are proud of you, right? The same way that you're proud of yourself. You know that you earned everything that is going to be coming towards you in this chapter, and they want you to keep doing what you are doing, keep raising your vibration, keep seeing yourself in the absolute best light that you possibly can imagine, because it's doing wonders for you, you your life, and everything around you. You're walking around with a vibration that is changing the world around you, little bit by little bit, right? None of us no one person is here to change everything, right? We all play our little part by being ourselves. But what you have endured in the past, all of that stuff has just taught you, right? It was just lessons, things to learn from, things to grow from, things to experience, right? The highs and the lows, the joys and the disappointments. But what's coming towards you is something that you've been wanting for a while. It's something that you've been manifesting, focused on. You've been trying to move this way. It's happening now. In the past, it couldn't happen because you had energies around you that were just, they were draining you of your light, dimming your light. They didn't want to see you go that way. Those energies have been cleared. All of the curses, the spells, any negative energy that was spoke over your name or that you spoke over your own life is gone. It is, it is not here anymore. You have been protected and guided by your intuition and your higher self throughout this process of evolving and it is starting to happen. You're going to start to see things. You're going to start to get a lot of synchronicities from your guides. And they're going to be a sure, like it's, it's going to be reassurance that you're on the right path, right? So if you see a lot of repeating numbers or you see the same color, right? Or people, like you see the same, like a lot of people wearing one color or something like that. I keep getting colors. I keep seeing the color red. <laughs> um, what is it? I don't know. It's, it's signs, right? You'll notice the synchronicities. It'll be different for all of you in your lives, but it is confirmation from spirit that you're on the right path and that everything is falling into place. Everything's falling into alignment. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to stress about, all right? You did all that in the past. It's time to embrace what is to come, what is here now, and what you have put so much of your energy into manifesting, right? You deserve this. You have a very beautiful spirit. You have a gift that is unique to you. I don't know what it is, but it's unique to you. And a lot of other people could benefit from it or enjoy it, right? It could be something. I don't know what it is. But people could really um, use this. And in this chapter, that gift is going to shine. And it, it is going to be something that really brings passion or it's going to ignite some sort of flame or like vitality for life in your life and this is going to change things as your vibration rises spirit is going to align you with things that match you you know and when you and whatever spirit brings you whenever those energies collide that's when new realities and new timelines are created what else do you have spirit cards okay The truth is, no, we need your spirit guides. All right, let's get one of these. Let's get a couple. The truth is, yes, there was energies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There was some, whew, somebody does not want to let you go. Somebody potentially that was maybe a bit abusive or somebody that just liked having some sort of control over you, right? We have abusive and confined. This is somebody that didn't want to let you go because... If you leave, they just have to sit with themselves, right? And obviously, if this person is walking with this energy, it's not a match with your vibration. You are meant to be free and explore this world and everything that it has to offer you. They're crazy. 
fear of loss, the past, the past dying love. Okay, okay, whoever I'm talking to, family issues. I don't know if it's family or love, but someone feels you pulling away because your reality, your guides are trying to bring you into straight up success. So whoever this is, they're holding on for dear life. Trust me, nothing to worry about. This is, that's just them like scratching at nothing, right? They're reaching for whatever they can from you because you're already gone, especially in the astral realm. You've detached from all the things that can hold you back, right? Now we have new love. What else does this say? Missing you. Yeah, you got new love oh, and watching you. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, look at you. You're on a new journey and a new chapter, embracing new opportunities, experiencing new things, new people, places, and things. And you're happy. You're doing good. You will be, right? If you're not now. I bet you are, though. Someone's missing you and watching you. You could be being stalked. Take notice of the world around you. Just so you can protect yourself. I'm not saying you're being stalked and be paranoid. No. I'm just saying be watchful of who's around you, who's who's coming back, who hits you up out of nowhere, who tries to reconcile with you. Because when you have this energy and this blessing over your life, there's going to... Your ascension is the last thing they want to see. Because it puts the nail in the coffin and it solidifies the end of a chapter that they are holding on to. But it needs to, it needs to, it needed to end, right? Allow your ascension to be something that you do for you. Don't let any other outside energies influence where you're going, what you want, what you desire, and how, is, how you're going to get it, right? Because if it's not going to help build you up, if it's not going to help get you to where you want to go or help you feel loved... You just don't got the time. <laughs> you don't got the time. Spirit's saying you're going to be very busy in this next chapter. You don't have the time to just be wasting on people, places, and things that want to waste your time. Your flow is changing or the flow of your life is changing. Grace. Uh, yeah, be graceful with yourself as you go, to, go through this transition of flow. Because when you change up your flow, look, renewal and power. Oh, Spirit's the, uh, the dragon transformation. No matter what type of change you're going through in life or transition, it's always like, it's a shift. It's very doable. We've all done it a thousand times. Not literally, but we've done it a lot, right? But it's always uncomfortable. But when spirit is changing your flow, right? The way that you see the world, the people around you. When spirit is purifying you to get ready for this chapter of success and transformation and you being able to step into this power, the dragon demands respect. The dragon demands um to be seen for who the dragon is, and that is you. You are powerful as the dragon. Some of you could be life path number 11. This could be a year where you step into the spotlight, maybe fame. When I say demands respect, I mean that in a way that's like, understand your worth. If you understand your worth, everyone around you should be able to as well, right? You don't have to impose it or will it over people. But the flow that is shifting, that you're shifting into is one where you're not going to have to over explain yourself, prove yourself, try to make anyone happy. You're going to be able to be yourself, right? And that is going to be enough because spirit is bringing you into your most authentic self, your most authentic timeline, your highest vibrational reality because you're ready for it. You're ready for these victories. You're ready for this money. You're ready for this success. You're ready to handle these responsibilities like a boss because you did all the other stuff already, right? You did all the playing around and you did all the giving people chances that didn't deserve them and you did all the self-sabotaging. Like, it's time to step in to where you want to be because that's where spirit wants you at the end of the day, right? It's time to make sacrifices and allow the changes to happen so that you can live your best life. This is, this is where everything was leading up to, this point. Jump into the change and let the flow take you. I'll see you guys soon. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, book a personal. Links will be in the description box below. Am I about to? Bye, guys.